guys, welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Callie, and this is my YouTube channel dedicated to all things nails, beauty, and business. So today is actually kind of a throwback video, especially with this setup we have here today. I used to film my videos like this all the time. I would just pick a background, I would set up my tripod, and I would just start filming super casual. I didn't have a set background back then, and you know what, today I just decided let's keep it simple and cozy and just have a really chill video. And I'm actually very excited about today's video because I am doing a nail polish haul. I'm very, very happy about this. I haven't done a nail polish haul video in what feels like forever, but I'm pretty sure the last time I did one was January sometime. And you guys highly, highly requested this over on my Instagram. So thank you to everybody who voted in those polls. And yeah, so today I just have so many polishes to show you guys. Whenever I do hauls, I always feel like I don't have a ton of polishes to show you, but this time I really do because I haven't done a haul in so long. And I hadn't been buying a lot of nail polish for a while. There's no really particular reason, but I just hadn't been seeing a lot of things that I wanted. But over the last few months, that definitely changed because I got a few more things that I wanted to review and I just picked up some really beautiful polishes along the way. So I really am looking forward to sharing them with you guys. And also I know the world is so crazy right now and there's a lot of things going on. So I hope this video can help you escape from that for a little while if you just wanna chill out and watch some pretty polishes. I really hope this video brings you some joy today and I just hope Wherever you are, you're having a really nice day and staying safe and healthy with your families. And yeah, so let's just get into this video. I'm really looking forward to it. So this first polish I'll be showing you, I'm actually not going to spend too much time on these first two just because I have shown them a lot on my channel recently. But this one here is called SE by Olive and June and I did review this one and the next one I'll be showing you in a recent video so I'll link that up in the cards. But these two are the first polishes I've ever tried from Olive and June, and I'm very happy with them. This is a really lovely light pink color, and it's just super simple, great for spring. And the formula on this one is pretty good. It's a little bit thin, but if you build it up, it's a really nice pink. And yeah, you can see more of that one in the full video where I review these polishes. Here's the second one in that duo that I purchased. I just decided to get two colors just to see how the polishes work. This one is just a plain classic white. This one is called HD. And again, you can see how this one applies over in that other video. But this one's very nice too. And I just like this kind of simple, like clean marshmallow white color. Another great staple for spring. Next, we have two very pretty polishes that I actually picked up while I was on a trip to Connecticut, and I do have a vlog for that, so I will put that in the cards, but I always enjoy getting a souvenir polish whenever I'm on vacation, so let me know in the comments. Do any of you guys do that? Do you pick a polish or a name of a polish based on where you've been? I always do that a lot, and I really enjoy it, so this one here is called Need a Vacation because I thought that was very appropriate because it was a really fun, quick weekend trip, and I really enjoyed it, and I just wanted to get a little polish to remember it by. So this one is just a classic Essie shade. I've never actually seen this one before or tried it. I don't know if it's from a collection or if it's just part of their core line. I'm not really sure, but this one's very pretty. It's just a simple pink. I didn't really buy this one for the color. I just thought the name was cute, but the color is very nice anyway. And now that I'm seeing it under this lighting, it actually has a little bit of shimmer in it, which I have never ever seen before. Literally since I bought this, I did not know it had shimmer in it. So that's very exciting. And also, by the way, I know you guys are always asking to see swatch pictures of the polishes that I show you, but for this video, I will not be showing you guys any swatch pictures, mainly because most of the polishes that I'm showing you are pretty brand new and I haven't had a chance to swatch them yet. But when I do have swatches for these polishes, they will be available over on my Instagram gradually. So if you're interested, you can go look over there. Or if you haven't seen one yet, then let me know in the comments and I will let you know if I've swatched it before. But as of this moment when I'm recording, I have not swatched any of these. So anyway, back to this one. This one is very beautiful and I can't wait to try it. Another great pink for the spring. And also I'm just really into pink nail polish lately. Is anybody else really into a certain color right now? Let me know in the comments. This next one is also another little friend that I brought home from my Connecticut trip, and this one is called One Way for One. I'm not sure what the name of this collection was, but I know it had something to do with vacation or airplanes or something, so this one is so, so pretty. And I wasn't planning on getting two polishes when I was in Connecticut, but I couldn't help it. This one was just too beautiful to pass up, and I'd seen it so many times, and I thought, well, 
might as well get it now because it's very pretty and I really like it. So this one is kind of a classic kind of medium pink color, but it has this beautiful yellow gold shimmer flash in it. I am so excited to wear this one as a full manicure because as of right now, I think the, the only time I used this was in a recent manicure that I did, but I'm really looking forward to doing a swatch picture for this one because it is just so stunning. And again, I am just so ready for spring and summer and I'm so into really bright and fun colors right now. So this one is great and I cannot wait to wear this during the summer. The next two I have for you guys are a little bit random. I usually don't go and get nail polishes without a plan. You know what I mean? That I'm like actually deciding, okay, I wanna get a few of these for a review or I have a certain color in mind that I want or whatever. But I was in, I believe it was Walgreens or CVS or something. And I just decided, you know what? I wanna get a few more Essie Expressi polishes because these really, really piqued my interest when I reviewed these recently. I'll put that review up in the cards if you're interested. And I just thought it was such a cool concept because I know, I don't believe Essie has ever released anything quite like these where they're you know, supposed to be fast drying and everything like that. And I was actually pretty impressed with the first two polishes that I tried. But as, as these polishes have been coming out more, I have seen so many beautiful gorgeous colors and i couldn't believe how many polishes like brand new polishes they put in this line i was really interested in trying some more of them so i decided to get two more because i really really like them and i really like the formula the brush is really cool the whole setup of these is just really great so if you want to see more of my thoughts on these polishes again the video will be in the cards but Anyway, after that very long explanation, this one is so, so pretty. It's called Bolt and Be Bold. And I have been looking for a color like this for a very long time. This actually will apply to something else later in the video, but you'll see that in a second. But anyway, this one is very similar in my mind, at least. I haven't actually compared them yet because I haven't looked at a picture recently. But in my mind, this one really, really reminds me of... I believe it's called Playing Koi by Essie. And it's some really pretty color like this, this kind of, you know, fall, dark orange pumpkin kind of color. And I have been looking for that specific Essie polish for so long and I've never found it anywhere. So I thought this one looked like a good dupe without seeing the other one, but I'll have to compare them. But right now I'm super happy with this one. I believe it's a tiny bit more orange than plain Koi if I remember right, but I'll look later. So anyway, I'm very excited to wear this one for the fall. So I bought it a little bit out of season because I myself am a pretty seasonal nail polish wear not all the time but usually that's what I do so I can't wait to try this one again when the weather goes cold again but for now I'm really into bright colors but I'm very glad I have this one and I'm looking forward to seeing how this one compares to the other Essie Expressi polishes I have tried. The second Essie Expressi polish that I grabbed was this one. This is called Mike Drop It Low which is a cute name and this one just really caught my eye. It, you can't really tell in this lighting, but it is this really gorgeous kind of sparkly, very kind of jewel toned, fuchsia, purple, aubergine kind of color. And this one just, I thought was super interesting. I don't remember really seeing anything like this from Essie before. So this one just really caught my eye, like I said, and I thought the shimmer was really beautiful. I mean, I might wear this one in the summer, it depends, but both of these together just look so amazing and I can't wait to use these in a fall manicure. But this one is very pretty and I think it's pretty unique. That's the thing I really like about the Essie Expressi polishes so far. All the colors I've been seeing in the displays are just really different. Like Essie usually does more classic, kind of simple kind of colors, which is great. Like I know, you know, not all brands do the same kinds of things with colors and things. And Essie's, you know, aesthetic is very like simple and, and just different colors and things. So I was very, very impressed and surprised to see them do like something more different with this line, which I think is great because if they can have, you know, the simple classic beautiful colors for their regular polishes and then maybe some more like edgy unique shades in this line, I think that's really cool. So also let me know in the comments, have you spotted any Expressi polishes near you? I know they were kind of hard to find when they first came out, but I've been seeing them everywhere. Most of the drugstores I go into always have really beautiful displays, like if I'm in Walgreens or CVS or something, all their displays are really growing rapidly. So I think that's very cool.
Next up is a very pretty duo from the Sally Hansen Pure collection. And they, this polish isn't looking very correct in this lighting, but it's, it's looking more brown on camera, but this is a very nice kind of dusty, light muted pink. But anyway, I have been wanting to review these polishes for so long. I know these have been, I'm pretty sure these came out around sometime last fall, I think these arrived from Sally Hansen, but I just haven't had a chance to take a look at them yet. So I finally decided to pick up a few. And so I decided to get this duo first because it's a really good deal if you want to get a nice polish and a nice top coat because i think these polishes are all around eight dollars depending on where you find them and for this set it was fifteen dollars so that's a full-size top coat and a full-size polish for that amount compared to what you would spend if you bought everything separately i mean if you can find a color that you like with this kind of duo i think it's a great deal so I'm very interested to see how these polishes work out. I actually have already tried the top coat and so far I am pretty happy with it because I've tried a bunch of different top coats in the last year or so and I'm, I just don't get super impressed by top coats anymore. Like I haven't found one that's totally perfect. They don't all, you know, I've at this point I've tried so many different ones I don't really know the best way to judge how well they work just because I know everyone's nail chemistry is different, everyone applies nail polishes differently, but for me, in my opinion, this one has been working really, really great. It's actually excellent. Like this is one of my favorite, favorite top coats I've tried in a very long time. It's not fast drying or anything and it's by no means perfect, but this manicure I have on right now, I've been wearing for a little over a week and it's not looking too bad. I mean, one of my nails broke recently and I did do my nails closer to the evening so they weren't totally dry and everything. And this, this top coat I've noticed does dent pretty easily if it's not completely dry, but still I'm very happy with how this manicure has held up over the last week. So I think this one is really great and I'm very impressed so far. So. I have one more polish to show you that goes with these two, but stay tuned for a review coming very soon because I really want to look into these more because I know there's been a lot of controversy about whether they actually live up to the brand that they've been given, you know, Good Kind Pure and they're 16 free and all that. I know there's been a lot of questions and controversy and confusion in the nail industry as to whether these actually are all those things. So. So far, I can't really offer a final opinion on it, but I will go more into detail in a future video. So if you would like to see a review for these polishes and get some more information, then definitely let me know in the comments down below. I thought it would be a little bit boring to just review one polish when that video comes, so I decided to get one extra one so I can show you two polishes and a top coat. So this one is very pretty. This one is called Sweet Berries, and I actually had a really hard time choosing one more polish to get because I was going to get the duo, and then I decided to get one more polish just so you'd have a little more variety to see. And I actually had such a hard time choosing. There were a bunch of really pretty, unique, interesting colors on the shelf, but this one I thought was very pretty, and it reminded me of a color... I'm not sure if I still have it. There were a bunch of polishes that I decided to de-stash last year sometime, I think. And this one really reminded me of one of the ones that I got rid of, and I think I liked it more than I did, more than I thought I did, because clearly I wanted it again. So this one's very pretty. It's not showing up great on camera. In person, it's kind of this kind of darker hot pink with a really nice bright kind of pinkish silver red flash it's very pretty and again wonderful color for summer <laughs> so this one's very pretty and again stay tuned to see how these polishes apply and everything like that in a review coming your way very very soon next we have the china glaze trolls collection and this is actually not the entire collection. There's two polishes missing from this box set, but I did go ahead and review this set for you guys on my channel last week, so I will put the link in the cards so you can go watch that video. I was actually pretty impressed with a lot of these. They're really pretty, and I just think this is such a fun collection. Like I've said over and over in this video, I'm just really enjoying bright, beautiful summer colors right now, and I think this is a really fun collection because I haven't actually seen the Troll movies but I know they're so colorful and there's so many fun animation details and just you know lots of color in general so I think it was a great collaboration between China Glaze and Trolls. This is not sponsored or anything I just thought it would be a nice thing to talk about 
And yeah, so actually I'll give you a little bit of a spoiler right now for that review. These two right here ended up being my favorites. This one is called Funky Beat and this one is called Pink and Poppy. These are so pretty. I really liked all of them, but these two were definitely my favorites. I was actually really impressed with the formulas on a lot of these. So this one had a great formula. That was one of the things that really made me enjoy this one. This one's very unique. This is a jelly. This one is pretty good. This one is decent. And this one is a matte glitter, which I think would be amazing as a topper. So anyway, if you want to see more about these polishes, then check out that video and you can see live swatches of those. And then if you want a few more details and some swatch pictures, you can head over to my blog on 360nails.com to see pictures of these and a, a few more details because that's what I always do. I review polishes and then I think of more things I want to say that I didn't include in the video. So if you ever want my, I guess, afterthoughts or details or anything like that, check out the blog to see if I added anything over there. And yeah, so these are so pretty and I really like this collection. So our final stop on this nail polish shopping journey is Sally Beauty. And I hadn't been to Sally Beauty in a little while, so... I decided to go and I didn't really have anything super in mind that I wanted to get but of course I ended up getting four polishes. I don't usually do that because for me the way I buy polishes is never a bunch at a time and I know to some people four polishes might be a bunch and to some people it might be a little bit because I know everybody buys nail polishes differently but for me I usually get polishes one at a time, two at a time. I don't usually splurge and go on a bit of a nail polish shopping spree but I decided to treat myself for once in a while and I decided to get a few really gorgeous polishes because I was just looking around at all the polishes. I had four in my hand and I just couldn't decide. So I'm very happy with my purchases and I cannot wait to wear them. So after another long explanation, here is a really unique polish. This one is called Glow Worthy. I'm not exactly sure which collection this one is from. I think it might be the arrangement collection, but I don't think that's right. So if I can find it, I'll put on screen what this one is from, but I always enjoy looking in the Sally Beauty clearance baskets. They always have some really fun polishes that just kind of appear and it's kind of like going on a treasure hunt. So this one is very pretty and I think I've seen this one in there before but I always just kind of barely put this one back or got a different one or something but I finally decided to get it because I thought it was really unique. It has this interesting, it kind of reminds me of What's Up Buttercup from the Arrangement Collection so maybe that's why I'm thinking this is from that but I'm not sure. So this one has this kind of it's almost the same base as that other polish which is a very kind of brown gold orangey kind of color but then it has this confetti burst of beautiful like silver holographic glitter and shimmer and it's just so unique i this kind of polish just still reminds me a lot of thanksgiving but in general this is a great fall polish and i'm looking forward to trying this one out and seeing how it applies the next one that found its way to me in the clearance baskets was it's a piazza cake and this is a very old opi polish i'm pretty sure at least a few years old from i guess it was their italy collection i'm not sure exactly it might have been a city in italy that it was named after it was maybe their rome or venice or something i know it was named after a city in Italy for that collection, I'm pretty sure, but let me know in the comments if that's not right. But um, this one, I always see this one a lot in nail polish reviews and like um, swatch videos and things, so this one is just so pretty and for some reason I kind of remembered the name of this polish but I didn't remember that it looked like this because again this is what I was saying earlier where this kind of goes back to my whole Essie playing coy mission because this one also really reminds me of that polish too and I again haven't compared any of these so I can't be certain but these two are a little bit different uh the one from Expressi is definitely a lot darker and richer whereas this one is more of kind of a pumpkin pie color but I'm very interested to see how these compare to playing coy because apparently I just really want a polish that color because I don't have one surprisingly so I just really like this one. I'm interested to see how the formula works and I just think it's a really beautiful color. Very flattering and perfect for fall. Another one from OPI was actually kind of a random purchase for me because this one is from their new, I think it's called their Mexico City collection. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, this one's called Don't Tell a Soul, S-O-L, which is really cute. I haven't bought a yellow polish in such a long time 
And this one just really caught my eye because I wasn't planning on getting any of the polishes in that collection, but I just spotted this one. I haven't gotten an OPI polish from a new collection or anything in a really long time, and I just really like this one. It's not showing up perfect on camera, but it's kind of a very white kind of Easter pastel yellow, and it's very pretty. It's a little bit brighter than a pastel yellow, actually. It's kind of a pale sunshine lemon yellow. It's very, very pretty. And also, I just really like the name because if you guys know me and you follow me on Twitter or just any social media or, you know, in general. I just love sunshine and sunny things and positivity and this polish just really reminds me of that sort of thing. So this is so, so pretty and I can't wait to wear this one. It's always kind of a challenge to find a yellow that looks nice on my skin tone because if you have a pale skin tone like me, sometimes it can be difficult to find one that fits with your skin nicely. So hopefully this one does. It's very pretty and if all else fails, this would be a great nail art polish so this one's very nice and we've made it to the end our final polish for today is a stunner this one this one is called hip hot coral and this is beautiful it's really the camera is not doing it any justice in person this always seems to happen to me when i go to sally beauty and i look at the morgan taylor shelf there's always one or two that just really pops and it catches my eye and it's always beautiful and i never leave without it. Whichever polish it is that catches my eye, it always ends up in my collection. So this one is gorgeous. This is the epitome of what I'm talking about with my absolute adoration for summer nail polishes right now. This one is a bright, beautiful Barbie neon. It's a very hot pink with like this kind of fruity undertone. It's very just almost neon. Like it has a really, really neon quality and then it has just a little bit of yellow gold shimmer if you can kind of see it right there. It is gorgeous. I can't wait to wear this one. I really hope the formula is good and this one will probably be on my nails and probably used for pedicures all summer long. This is my ideal summer polish. Morgan Taylor just always really really does a great job of coming up with those colors that just become essential nail polishes like you guys know the polish by morgan taylor that i've been talking about non-stop for probably a month now is called look at you pinkachu and that was the last one at sally beauty that really caught my eye so that one is a definite favorite of mine this one probably will be too so they're just so pretty and i'm super happy with all the morgan taylor polishes i've been enjoying lately because they are really great not sponsored by the way just wanted to mention that so that is it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed this and had a chance to sit down relax take a minute and just really enjoy this video i as i said before i really hope it brought you some joy today and gave you a break from any stress that you've been dealing with or anything like that because that's what I love to do here on my channel is just create really fun, positive content for you guys where you can just relax, watch a video, and just chill out for a little bit. So I really enjoyed doing this video. I haven't done a nice, chill, sit-down video like this in such a long time and I really enjoyed putting this one together. So if you like this style of video where it's just more casual than usual, definitely let me know in the comments. Your guys' feedback always means so much to me and I really enjoy enjoy hearing what you guys would like to see and you know what types of content you enjoy or how you like to see it presented so that's always appreciated if you want to leave your thoughts in the comments below that would be great so before I go I just wanted to update you guys on a few things that have been going on for my channel and my website and things in general lately so I have been super active on Twitter. I've been really enjoying sharing inspiration and positivity and just sometimes some fun content over there. So definitely go follow me. All my social media is always at 360 Nails. So definitely go check out my Twitter if you're interested. I also have another fun announcement. I am now on TikTok, which I actually opened my TikTok account I think in the fall, but I just didn't have any ideas at the time and I just deleted the app and didn't get back to it. But recently I decided it would be really fun to start some new adventures. So I have a TikTok, again, 360 Nails. You can go check out my account. I already have two videos posted. One is a teaser for this video and the other is a swatch of a polish from the China Glaze Trolls collection. So go check that out. It's a really fun kind of silly app, but I really enjoy putting the little videos together. It's quite fun. So go follow me over there for some new videos and maybe some more fun different content. So 
The final thing I want to mention is something that I'm super excited about. I think I may have mentioned this in my last video, but I'm not sure, so I'll just mention it again. If you guys want to see more All Things Nails, Beauty, and Business, and you want to stay updated on videos like this and exclusive content, blog posts, anything like that, brief newsletters sometimes, I've been working very hard on creating a very quality mailing list for you guys, and I know I had a blog subscription for a very long time, which thank you to everybody who's subscribed to that over the years. So now I'm really hoping that you'll join me on this new journey and migrate over to my mailing list because you will be getting twice the amount of content and so much better quality because my blog subscriptions weren't always the best. It was just kind of usually a link and just like a quick kind of random thing that I would send out. But these new emails you'll be getting from my mailing list are so much better. You'll get more content. And also, this is a quick freebie, but you guys will receive a free phone wallpaper when you sign up. So that's just a little fun thing I wanted to include as a thank you for joining. But I promise you will never, ever, ever get spam. It's never going to be anything annoying that'll just clutter up your inbox. I always promise and strive to put together quality content that you can enjoy. It's very concise and you'll get all the information you need in just a few clicks. And I would be very happy to be a part of your inbox a few times a week. So if you can spare the space in your, in your inbox, definitely go subscribe. The mailing list link is in the description box. So go check that out if you're interested interested. And yeah, so I just wanted to mention those few things to you guys. I've been doing a lot of things with my social media and all things like that. So, so there's always something new and fun going on. If you have any questions about anything, please let me know in the comments. And yeah, I know this was a very long outro, so thank you if you stayed till the end. And this was just a really fun video. I know it's probably a little bit longer than usual, but I just wanted to do something casual and a little bit longer since a lot of my videos have been shorter recently. And yeah, I just had a really fun time putting this video together. So once again, I hope all of you are staying safe and healthy and all things like that. Just stay positive and focus on your family and friends. Just keep sunshine in mind and keep going. So I will be back next week with a, another really fun video. It will most likely be a review of these polishes. Or actually, I might try to review the new Sinful Colors quick dry polishes. We'll see what happens. But And if you have any requests or suggestions, let me know in the comments. Those are always appreciated and taken into consideration. So, so I hope you all have a really, really wonderful weekend and stay safe and healthy as usual and spend time with your family and friends and yeah, just relax. And I hope you just have a really beautiful day and I will see you in my next video. Have a polished rest of your day. Bye!